Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Just gonna be a very quick video today on how I style Birkenstocks. I think Birkenstocks make for really good house shoes, but they look nice enough that you can wear them out in public, and I still think you would look pretty stylish. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing eight different outfits with five different pairs of pants. Um, so hopefully it gives a very you know, rough basic idea of different ways that you can go with styling Birkenstocks. But again, these are just how I personally would style them. But before we get into that, I'm gonna do a very brief review of these. I'm gonna talk about sizing, just my overall thoughts on it. So if you wanna skip that, skip to this time right here. So the specific model that I did get is the Arizona with the oiled leather straps. And Birkenstocks, they offer a completely 100% EVA foam version of this slide and it's much more cost effective you know it costs maybe i think like 30 to 45 dollars or something much more affordable than 125 but the reason why i did not go with those is because you can't really repair them so over time with these when the sole wears out you can cheaply replace them just the soles and then you can still keep the midsole and the straps and everything and what's nice is these do break into your feet very nicely so you know it's nice not to again spend all that money and then go through the break-in process all over again if you're looking to keep your clothes for a long time which i recommend you do i would just opt for the more expensive pair in the long run it'll be much better now breaking down the materials in the shoe of course the sole it is that like kind of eva foam and it provides decent grip for a slide i mean it's not like you know some hiking shoe or anything um, but as you wear it uh, and it kind of scuffs up the bottom you do get more grip over time and then the midsole, it is made up of cork, which breaks in really nicely and forms to your feet. And it's not one whole piece of cork, it's little tiny bits of cork that they kind of um, all glue into this mold here. And then the insole, it's made up of a suede. I mean, you can kind of see the darker spots where my feet wear more. And then the leather straps are very thick and then you get some um, nice metal buckles right there. But other than that, that's kind of like all the materials in these sandals slides. Now, when it comes to sizing with these, I did go down one size. So this is an EU size 44. And generally speaking, I wear a size US 12 in most of my shoes. But when I tried on the EU equivalent of a 12, which I think is like a 45 or 46, it was just way too big. So I did size down to an EU 44 and it fits much, much better. So if you can, I would recommend going to a store, I think like REI or Journeys, they carry Birkenstocks and just try them on. But if you don't wanna do that, I would just recommend sizing down one size. A really neat feature with Birkenstocks is it kind of uses the natural anatomy of your foot to keep the slide on your feet and without like, you know, sliding off. Um, and they really do that uh, because of this toe ridge here. So um, right behind your toes, but before the pad of your foot, there is this ridge. And so your toes kind of rest over it. And so it kind of catches it when you're walking. So the shoe doesn't like slide off your foot. So that's a really cool thing. Very high arch sports as well. Um, although luckily I do have high arches, so I don't get that much like wear on the arches. I guess I have skinny feet, so I tighten the buckles down to the tightest that they can go. And um, I mean, overall, I've been wearing these shoes pretty much every day, just like bumming around the house because there's you know, not that many places to go. But I've been wearing these for about two whole months now and they've broken in really well. I'd say they got fully broken into maybe like two weeks into wearing them. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into styling these shoes because you know there's not that much to talk about these. Generally speaking, I think Birkenstocks look really good with more casual laid back outfits. I mean, they're sandals or slides or anything like that. So again, they're not that like dressy and if it's you know super cold out, you know, wear boots or shoes or something. Don't wear don't wear Birks. Um, so all these outfits I think are very casual very laid back vibe to them, but I try to keep them extremely basic. So hopefully you can apply your wardrobe to a lot of these outfits and mix and match things that you like. Um, and just get your you know gears turning in your head on different ways that you can style it. So for the first outfit, again, it's very simple, but I'm just wearing kind of more, more of a straight cut pair of denim. I got these from Target, it's like a nice kind of like dark washed out black. And then a shoelace belt and then a custom dyed Gildan t-shirt and then a 
hand-painted tote bag. Um, I think it's a very kind of casual outfit. And with the oiled leather on the sandals, I think all the tones work out really nicely. But if it's a little bit chilly out, I think a fleece like this one from Uniqlo works really well. Um, again, plays into that whole very casual laid back vibe of the outfit. And personally, I've been wearing different iterations of this outfit a lot in the past month or so, now that it's finally a little bit cooler out. The second outfit I am wearing, some slightly baggier pair of cargo pants. These aren't like a technical pair, it's more of just a kind of normal streetwear pair. I did get these off of Amazon. Uh, I think they were like pretty cheap, like 30 bucks or something. Um, and then I'm wearing that same custom dyed t-shirt above and then an oversized Pendleton cardigan. Again, I think the tones work out really nicely in this outfit from the oiled leather all the way up through the cardigan. And having those, again, slightly baggier pants and the oversized cardigan, I think really plays into the more comfortable, casual look of the outfit. And if cardigans aren't your thing, I think flannels work just as well. You know, or you could like layer a hoodie underneath a flannel and still wear burks like this. But uh, again, I really think focusing on the different pairs of pants is really key for getting more outfits with Birkenstocks. For the next two outfits, I'm wearing just some Uniqlo U uh, regular cut denim. It's kind of more of a thicker denim compared to the jeans in the first outfit. And it's not as like distressed looking. Once you find a pair of pants that you think work well with them, you can completely, you know, it's really easy to swap out the top to completely change up the outfit. So it's like here, you know, I could be wearing a vintage crew neck sweater, but I could swap it out for a hoodie. Um, and I think it looks good, but uh, you know, not gonna spend a lot of time on this outfit. So next one. Obviously you can wear these with more summer oriented outfits, uh, such as here, I'm just wearing a sun bleach Gildan t-shirt and then just some swim trunks, I also double as shorts, um, and then just um, some high black socks and the burks, of course. You, you can swap, you know, any of these things out. I do like wearing them with higher socks and especially if I'm showing it on camera, not giving away free feet pics, you know, especially in this economy. So yeah, here's another outfit. Next one. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this outfit because being, you know, pretty much slides, uh, they're extremely easy to wear around the house. So here I'm just wearing some nice Uniqlo kind of tapered sweatpants and then just a nice Uniqlo t-shirt. Um, I mean, come, it's, it's just, it's just so simple. I, I don't know how much I can BS about this outfit, but yeah, sweatpants work well with these around the house. Next outfit. Okay, lastly, this is probably the most like kind of dressed up, I'm going out on the town look I'll probably do with Birkenstocks. But I'm just wearing my favorite like Levy and Mez 2 like technical pair of trousers. And then just a Uniqlo U heat tech shirt and then a Uniqlo cardigan as well. Um, I kind of like the, again, the whole kind of laid back vibe of this outfit, especially with that cardigan being open and, you know, the really comfortable pants and then of course the burks and everything. By no means is that a groundbreaking outfit, but I really like it and I've been wearing stuff like this a lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like this outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and link all the outfit details down in the description below in case you wanna check out any of the pieces I've shown in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it got some gears turning in your head on different ways that you can try out wearing your Birkenstocks. Um, or if I convinced you to get a pair of Birkenstocks with my mini review, just let me know. Yeah, with that being said, I will see you in a video pretty soon. So see ya, have a good one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and crank out more videos more often, so. Yeah.